All right, so uh, this morning we're going to be talking about a TTR-125. This is the hard start, hard start problem that a lot of people have. I'm reading about it on the forums and everything. And everybody's changing the jets to fix the problem. Uh, but the jets is not the problem for the starting. Uh, sometimes it'll, uh, it'll help with it um, coming off a choke a little bit earlier. But um, this, this problem right here is what you'll need to fix if you want your uh, TTR to start easier. Now this one right here, this is a 2007. Uh, 125L. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, kick it a couple times just to show you what it's doing. And what will happen is uh, with the choke on all the way, when I'm trying to kick it, it, it may kick and start a little bit, but when you go to give it a tiny bit of gas, or if you turn the choke off, it'll die. Uh, and that's the problem that these have. And it's a choke circuit, and I'll show you how to fix that here in a second. Okay, and this, the choke is fully on, gas is on. And a lot of times what will happen, like this is the E model, that you'll crank it and crank it and crank it until the battery dies, or you'll kick it so many times, you know, you're wearing holes in the bottom of your boots and it won't start. So it'll start a little bit. Pretty much you go crazy. It should start with like two kicks. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to pull the bowl off real quick. And I have another uh, float bowl right here that I'll show you. But I want to show you what the problem is. I'm going to fix it on this bike, put it back on the bike, and we're going to kickstart it right here in front of you so you can see that the problem is solved. So first thing I'm going to do is turn the gas off. You know, these little bikes pulling the carburetor off is easy, but we don't need to pull the carburetor off. The only thing you're going to need to do is pull the bowl off. So I'm loosening the two clamps on the airbox side and the intake side. All right, I'm going to loosen it enough so that I can get the, uh, the bowl screws. Gas is going to pour out of the bowl here. Take the bowl off. Just be careful of the um, float pin. If the float pin doesn't come off, you don't mess the gasket up taking it off. Nice and easy. And then you have that little uh, plastic piece that's in there. You just have that little plastic piece. You don't want to. You don't want to lose that. And make sure that that doesn't uh, disappear. That stops the gas from splashing around on the bottom, getting into your uh, jet. Okay. So the problem that we're talking about here is rear off this camera here. And, and for you camera people, this is a GoPro Silver Edition running uh, 720, uh, 30 photos per second. So here's our problem. Now what we're looking at here is this little choke circuit, okay? The choke circuit is that little hole right there. Now that hole, although it looks big there and, and where the fuel goes into it is at the bottom there. It's a little hole coming up on an angle. There's a little tiny hole at the bottom of that. It's a little tiny. It's the size of a jet. And it's smaller than the pilot jet. So you can imagine with these bikes, uh, when the pilot jet gets clogged up, it won't run. Um, it'll only run with the choke on or it, it, you know, you'll have a lot of problems down low. So um, that hole needs to be cleaned out. So um, what I've gotten here is a, uh, this is a micro drill bit set. All right, so this is um, for the model number. There's a model number on the top for this drill bit set if you wanted to get this one. This is made by Blue Point, but you can probably uh, search around and find uh, one from any company. Now I'm using the smallest size. It's the smallest one that this comes in is a point zero two two five. And all the way down the bottom of that hole is the jet hole. So you need to get this all the way down inside there into the hole. You need to clean it out. So what I'm going to do here is uh, with these little tiny drill bits, you just put a little bit of pressure and I'm hand spinning this here.
I'll give you an idea of um, how small that hole is. This little wire right here, this is a wire from a um, from a, a brick brush. If you're familiar with those, they have a, a lot of these bristles and um, they're for cleaning the paint and stuff off of bricks. This has a hard time getting through there. And this is a little bit smaller. Now, the, the problem that the bike has is that there's a tube on the body of the carburetor. So I, got, I have another carburetor here, I'll show you. All right, so here's the body of the carburetor. This tube right here has some holes in it. These holes are what go down into that tube. And if there's no fuel getting to that tube, the choke circuit can't suck the fuel up through that, through that little uh, tube right there up into your carburetor. Now, we all know about the, the problems with the, um, with the choke being stuck, and this carburetor body right here is one of those with that problem where the, where the choke slide is stuck inside the body, and I couldn't get it off of this one. I've gotten them off of some just by soaking it in, in um, some hot, uh, what I use uh, pine saw in a, um, I'll turn the camera to show you what I use here, but I'm using pine saw in a gallon can, and I just keep it uh, nice and warm, and I'll uh, put the carburetor in there and let it soak, and then sometimes that frees it up, but it's, uh, it's a bit of a battle, and this one I couldn't get out. But anyway, the choke circuit, that tube right there, you can see it kind of on an angle. That's what goes down to your choke circuit that sucks the fuel up out of the carburetor bowl, but that hole in the bottom that we're working on needs to be clear. Alright, so to save you some time in the video here, I have another bowl that I've already cleaned out. Uh, this is the bowl off of that carburetor I just showed you. I've already drilled the hole uh, in here and made sure that it's, and you can see in the other one, that when I get this into the hole, that's how far down it goes. And then when I use this one here, it goes all the way down in there because this hole is clear. So I'm going to throw this one back on the bike and uh, we're going to let the bowl fill up with fuel and I'll kick it and we'll, we'll see what happens. Sometimes when you rotate the carburetor out, it should pop off the fuel line. So just make sure your fuel, fuel line goes back on tight. Boots back in place. Back on. Turn the gas on, give it a minute for the bowl to fill up. Choke is off. Back to running good. Okay, we're gonna get the gas. Drink 
kicks, and right now the choke is off, and the um, it's still cold, so. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, I think it's something that uh, a lot of people overlook when they redo the carburetors, and they tend to do um, just the jetting change. They're putting in the what 17 and a half and a 110 uh, main, and they still have these starting problems. Um, when I put this back in, I just put in to show you guys, so I didn't even put that plastic piece in there. But I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to fix the other uh, bowl and put the original bowl that I took off of it back on it. But um, that's all. It's a simple repair. Get the drill bit, drill it out, and uh, make these bikes easy to start. They're great bikes when they're running right, and they're a total nightmare when you're trying to start them up, and they won't start for you. So, um, especially if you have a, a, a little one trying to start it and learn how to ride, and he can't start his bike. But you know, these are two, three kick start bikes when you get that choke circuit cleaned out. So, good luck to you. This is Tepco Cycle Repair with another uh, home fix video. Take care.